Okay, so... Welcome. This is a guide for how to counter Hora. And these are just the players that... Uh, sorry, these are just the moves that cheese players that uh, when they get up into the Hora matchup, they get frustrated by looking at these moves. So I'm just going to be showing you what uh, the different moves that different Hora's use, or mainly use, and what mo most people get caught by. And I'll be telling you the frame data on them, how to deal with them, and what you can do so that your matchup against Horong is better. All right, okay, so let's get started. So the first move that players seem to struggle with for Horong would most likely be uh, 1133. And uh, hey, Lei, how you doing? So with this guide, you're not going to be obviously know how to complete the counter Horong, but you're going to be able to hopefully take a look at what moves really piss you off and then see, okay, this is how I deal with that and this is what I can do against it. So to fight Huarang, you really have to know about his stances. Um, this is the main one. This is uh, what you would call left foot forward, right? Where in which you can see that his left foot is leaning forward. Hey, new Paidun. And then uh, the other stance that Huarong players have that they use a lot is this one, where it's, and this one's called right foot forward. And obviously you can see that Huarong has changed stances and his right foot is leaning forward. And within all of these different stances, there are different moves. And I'll just be going over what moves come from which stance and how you can, um, how which stance is more dangerous than the other. And uh, Hugh, how's it going, man? Um, so there's left foot forward, there's right foot forward, and um, there's his flamingo stances, which ha he has a lot of options for off that. So this is uh, called left flamingo stance. So you see how he's kind of hopping his leg, and he's still like his left. He's leaning to the left. And then this one's called uh, right flamingo stance, in which he has his uh, right uh, right leg almost up in the air. And going over these three stances. The four stances left foot forward right foot forward left flamingo uh stance and then right flamingo stance these are basically all of the four stances that i'll be covering today horong does have a back turn stance in which uh, he turns his back to the opponent and then he has different options off that but you don't really a lot of horongs that you'll meet up with in green and yellow i don't see utilizing I barely even see the top level Huarangs uh, utilizing it here in NA. Maybe in Korea they'll use it. But uh, yeah, so back, back, stand, back turn stance is not really something that you really have to worry about um, right now. Uh, Hugh, yeah, I'm just, uh, this is just going to be my stream for um, going over uh, Huarang and what are the options and what are the moves that cheese players and how you can deal uh, with said options. All right, so I'm going to get started. Uh, the first stance that we're going to be talking about, what what moves gives you back turn? So if you just press 1 plus 2 on Huarong, when you're in left foot forward, you'll have entered like back turn stance or like you can like go like that. See, you're back turned. If you're right foot forward and you press 1 plus 2. And you get you get like a couple of different moves from back turn stance, but that's not really the, uh, that's not really the, I didn't really research too much into that. The other stuff I researched into. So, first first stance. This is left foot forward. This is the main stance that you're going to be dealing with. Um, so, let's go and record our opponent. So, what you'll see a lot of Horang is this move. This is called 1133. Three, right? And, obviously, if you get hit with it, that's quite a bit of damage already gone, right? So what you want to do with this move, even if um, you get hit with a low, I'm pretty sure. What you can do is you can just block that last hit is a high. So you're seeing how I get hit with a high. So you can just do any wall rising that you want after that. Right there, like I can, I that's that's my uh, that's not really a wall standing, but because Warang doesn't really have a wall standing launcher, but. Whatever your character has, if you're playing Josie, you can do 2-1. If you're playing um, Kazuya, you can do while standing 2-2. But recognize that move and then uh, 
know that you can just duck the high, duck the uh, high, and then launch. Also, if you let me see if I can just block this. If you block it, this move is also minus 14. If you block that low. So this is Huarang's 14 frame launcher, his up forward 3 plus 4. And you can use that to punish the move. Kazuya's well standing, uh, you know, twin pistons, whatever you want. You can do whatever here. All right. So that's uh, 1133. Um, another move that is kind of common, but not really. You can see that uh, Horang players do this. Oh shit. Uh, one, two, that. So if you can recognize that, oh, you, you're seeing this quite a bit. That last hit is a high. And you really want to be ducking this string because this leaves Horang in plus eight and plus nine if you block it. And if you don't block it, it gives you a knockdown. So what you want to do again is duck that last hit. So I'm going to be controlling him. Okay, crap, forgot to record. There you go. So duck and launch. And then whatever combo you want. Or whichever while standing you have here. Like you can even do, like that was my 17 frame launcher, right? Like. You have a lot of time to go and do whatever uh, launcher you want, or you please. All right, on to the next move. Um, oh yeah, okay. So this is his down forward three plus four. So this move, if if it's on counter, it can give you that first hit. You saw how you uh, kneeled over. It can give you a full counter. It uh, combo. So you can do you, a lot of a, a lot of damage comes from that. So this is basically his counter hit, one of his counter hit uh, fishes, um, and it completely knocks down. If if uh, if the first one hits, the second one I'm pretty sure is going to hit regardless. So with this move, just block it. If you block this move, it's minus 14, minus 13 on block. Let me just record this. So let's go here. Uh, bop, bop. Right. Oh, I didn't press play. Up, oh, up. Oh. That should punish. There it is. There's my 14 frame punish. Yeah, it's very minus on block. Like if Warongs use this move, it's typically to bait out a counter hit, and it's not really the best thing to come up. But if it does show up, that's one of the moves. Uh, so another one is, uh, yeah, so you'll see a lot of Horangs do this move, down 3-4. One thing about this move is if this low hits, that high is guaranteed. You can't do anything about it. Absolutely nothing. You can't duck it, you can't interrupt it. This is guaranteed. This down 3-4, this string, low hits, uh, the uh, thing hit. And it's a... Uh, just don't draw a deductor in this move. It's plus 8 to plus 12. Right? So just wait afterwards. And then whatever Huarang does, like you can you can react accordingly. But yeah, if you if you're struck if you're constantly getting hit during this, just don't recognize that it's a startup and then don't do anything. Oh, Thizzle! Thank you so much for the host. How you doing, man? I'm just going I'm just doing an anti Huarong uh, Huarong stream. Uh, yeah, I'll be talking about that Lay. We'll be going over that later. We'll be going over everything! Alright, and then you can obviously, like, uh, refer back to this stream whenever you really want to, uh, check on what particular move, uh, Huarang has that was, uh, pissing you off. Or, like, I have the, um, Google Docs document that, um, I've updated with all the frame data. So, if you want, um, you can take a look at that and then, uh, put it in practice mode and then check out what move um, you want to practice against, right? So the next one I'll be talking about, uh, this is called, this is down forward, down back four, four. Um, this is, it's a pretty good move, decent. Down forward, uh, down back four is a very good poke tool that a lot of Warangs use. And then you can use this to get to Flamingo stance. 
But if you if you see a Horon player do the entire string, just realize that that second hit is duckable. So, and you can punish. Oops. All right. So this is down back four four. There it is. All right. So, just do whatever. Um, just do whatever while standing launcher you have. All of them work. Any of them work. Quarong is one of the few that doesn't really have a wild standing. And then whatever combo you want. Right after that. Doesn't really matter. Um, one thing, one noticeable, one noticeable um, property about this move is that if um, let's set if if I set my opponent to guard all here, and I'm um, actually let's set him to stand here and then guard all here. Right. Um, if this. Oops. If this is a counter hit, it's guaranteed. You can't do anything about that. So, if you do get hit with it, just recognize that, wait, Drew said that I can uh, duck and launch after the second hit. If it, if it is counter, it's guaranteed, regardless of what you do. So that's a unique property to one of Farang's moves. So, uh, just be careful about that. But yeah, this low is, oops, this low is really good. Uh, down back four. And even uh, even if you get hit, let's see if I uh, if I if I'm um, repeating action here, I think I have the the same. Even if you get hit with the low, you can still duck. Right, you can still duck and punish. If you recognize that the Huarang is continuously going for that string. Okay, next move. This is this is Huarang's patented uh, panic move. So uh, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen it quite a bit. It's back one. Um, it makes him sidestep to the right. You know, pretty decent move. On counter hit, I'm pretty sure if you're facing the right way, it gives a special like knockdown but you can't do anything about it but yeah so this panic move if you see Horongs do this move it's minus 13 so just block accordingly and then punish with whatever you have right okay uh let's start re recording let's do back one finish and play okay that should be my 13 frame there it is there's my 13 frame move down for block fantastic Yeah, Horang doesn't really have a very strong 13 frame, so you usually settle for his 11 frame punisher with his 4-3. But like, I know Josie has her uh, forward 2-4 that you can use that will then help, that, that will, that's a knockdown, and then other obviously other characters have better 13 frame punishes. But this is minus, back one, minus 13, whatever you want to use this move. Whenever you see Huarangs use this move and you block it, punish them, okay? So here's one of the infamous moves that you see a lot of Huarangs fucking do in green ranks and I never see anyone punish whatsoever. Back three. This is his go-to launcher and his whip punisher. And this fucking move, although it's good, on block this move, this move is minus 17 to minus 19. Like if you're playing against another Huarang as Huarang, all right, let's see here. All right. Okay. I can block and do a my another back three. Oops, that was a little too slow. Look at that. And and that's a, and that's a legitimate punish. So, extremely minus. If if you block this for the love of God, please do a punish. Preferably a launcher. Most. Even a down forward two words. Yeah, use use you only use this or supposed to. You're supposed to only use this move as a whiff, uh, whiff punisher, whiff launcher, right? But I see Huarong's run up and just fucking do back three. Just just please down forward. Any 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 launcher is fine. This is a minus seventeen, a minus nineteen move. I can back three and punish this move. Punish it, right? I see a lot of Farangs get away with this move. Is this an anti-profit stream? No. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, so the next the next move that I'll be talking to you about today is up back three three, right? This move, I see some Horongs throw it out. Um, not a bad move, I guess. It's a, it's good as like, I guess you could kind of say it's like Horongs um, while standing launcher because like it's really easy to, to transition from a from a crouch state. But uh, this move, second hits a high. And uh, it's plus on block, so you can't do anything about it. But uh, duck and launch with whatever uh, launcher, while standing launcher that your character ha has. So I'm just gonna control uh, my thing and then go up back three three. Right. Uh, I don't know if I can punish with an up back three three. I'm not 100 percent sure. But yeah, I can use a while standing punisher. Oops. Let's do this again. Yeah. So that second hit of that string is a high. I do have to caution you though, because Horongs can do a mix up that leads to a mid instead of the high. But with this mix up, this is, I'm pretty sure, minus on block. Let me check here. Yeah, it's minus on block. Um, yeah, yeah. So that's the kind of mix up. That's like, that's a. The, that's a precaution with it yeah but it's whatever just punish it punish it with whatever whatever you uh whatever you feel um here's another one okay this if i had to make a top 10 move list that every quad on player likes to use um four 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 a lot of people I know, you guys would probably get very frustrated with this move. A lot of Horongs use this and they use it without having a brain. So they just kind of just throw it out there and don't think about it. Um, this move is actually minus on block. So even though uh, there's a little bit of a pushback, you don't want to be using, you don't, Horongs don't want to be pressing after this move, but it doesn't matter. Horongs are retarded. They're going to be doing whatever. So just know that if they go for like a really slow move afterwards, you can most likely jab them out of it. Um, uh, property about this move is it's very, very linear. So you can sidestep the ever living, sh you can side walk the ever living shit out of this move. Give me one second here. Okay. Just anything, sidestep and launch. Whatever, whatever, uh, whatever works for you. Oops. If you're sidewalking, yeah, you're, you can easily, like you saw how many times I just, uh, walked around Huarang when he was doing these stuff. Huarang wants to get close to you, okay? And one of his only approach tools is this board four four right or he can like i don't know wave dash in front of you but like if warong is wave dashing in front of you i don't know i haven't seen any warong do that yet but most of his approach tools from a distance are ass you have four 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 you have running three i i don't know yeah i think that's like about the only really rangy moves he uses to approach you with so Keep him at a distance and then sidestep. Just keep it in your mind that Huarongs do want to be using this move to come close to you. So just sidewalk it. And 443. Just sidewalk those moves, right? Um, okay, so that's basically the majority of the cheese that you'll see in left foot forward, which is this stance right here. The uh, There are other moves, obviously, but they're a little bit more... Uh, a little bit more smarter, I guess. Um, and you won't see green Huarongs or even some yellow Huarongs using those moves too much. I guess I can talk about down back three. It's a good poking tool, but like it's just a chip. It's not a move that cheeses you. It's uh, it's just something that's there. I'm I'm here to just show you what really cheeses other uh, you as a player, right? So this is right foot forward. New, we're gonna head out. All right, man. I'll see you later.
so this is right foot forward. Um, the infamous backlash. Right? Armored move. It's plus four to plus seven on block. Um, leads to fucking massive damage combo. 77. I have no rage. So it it does a lot of damage, right? And a lot of players don't want to be uh, don't want to get hit by this. This move, it's a high. Um, it's honestly the best thing I have to use is just duck it. Right? Okay. Duck and launch. Let's play. Oops, got up a little too early. Why is the punish not showing up? There you go. There it is. So you have to work on your timing a little bit, but you can definitely uh, duck and punish this move. There it is. I'm wondering if I can do up back 3-3 three, three here. But yeah, I'm pretty sure any like 13 or even 14 frame while standing is going to work here perfectly fine. You just have to practice it in a little bit in practice mode. But yeah, Farangs love to use this move. A little tight on timing, but duck punish. And it's very predictable, right? Here's, that's also another one of his approach tools, or like uh, keep out tools that Huarong has. You, you'll see Huarong's use backlash like 50 million times, and that's all I, I, I see some between Huarong's doing, right? But if you can recognize that he can only do it out of right foot forward, right? This is the only stance that Huarong can do backlash out of. So out of this stance, you just be keep an eye out. And this is the only way, and just know that you can, you have, you'll be ducking when he's in this right foot forward stance. He can't do backlash out of anything else, right? So just notice, keep an eye out for the stances. Uh, no, I'm just doing an, like an anti Huarong uh, stream right now. I'm just trying to teach people on, on what moves cheese players and how they can defend themselves better against a Huarong. So with right foot forward on um, another move set that I guess you have to be on the lookout for is it's 4-4. Four, four. It's a high high and this move uh, it starts a combo as you can see right and uh, it 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 jails on hit, but you can duck and launch the second hit. So this move is kind of weird. Like, let me let me just uh, let me just start recording, right? So that should have done it. Okay. Okay. So if I if I'm blocking this move, it jails on hit. I can't I can't duck. Like if you see like my screen, I'm trying to duck that second hit. I can't. I can't do it. Right. Obviously, if you know it's coming. You can duck and then you can use whatever while standing launcher you have. But if you get hit with a first, you can, you can, uh, what's it called? Duck and punish the second hit. That's a weird property of this move. I did not uh, know that, but hit and then that does it. Hit, duck. But if you block the first, the second hit is pretty much guaranteed. The second, uh, like you can't duck the second hit. Okay, uh, let's go on to the next move. This one is, this one looks like back three. So it's forward four and like four, 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 like that. Uh, this one isn't as punishable as back three. So this is only about minus 10 to minus 12. And this one is also a lot more difficult to punish. Here, I'll show you. So if I'm Huarong, right? And then we play it. 
That's my 11 frame Punisher. It's this one's a really weird move to try to punish. So sometimes I can punish. I think it's dependent on range, but I'm not like 100% sure on why this move is a little weird to punish. I can use a, a up three to launch too. Yeah, it's just whatever whatever your character has, right? I'm just trying to go over what what moves really piss people off. But yeah, so this one looks like back three, but it isn't back three, right? And again, it's all about looking at Huarong's stances. So you notice back three comes out of left foot forward. And this is minus like 18, minus 19. It depends on how far away you are. But this one, this comes out of right foot forward. And this makes it a little, and it makes it a lot safer. And it's a lot more harder to punish, even though it technically is around minus 10 to minus 12. So you just be careful. When, uh, when Huarong is in right foot forward, He's a lot. He has a lot more tools, and he's a lot more powerful. So I have a lot of. I have a lot more. Uh, as you'll see, if we go on. Yeah, he has. He has. He also has that back turn launcher, like Ardo was saying. I think it's like. Where is it? There it is. So right foot forward. I pressed one plus two, and then four. That also looks like back three, but it's not back three. It's not minus nineteen. It's also minus twelve. So that can also mess you up. So the next move uh, I'll talk about here. Let me just scroll down. This is going to be uh, down back 3-3. Three, three. So this move. So as far as uh, I know, this move has been with Huarong for a very long time now. I'm not sure since which Tekken. So older Tekken players are going to be able to recognize that the second hit is a high. But... For the newer players, if you don't know, um, down back 3-3, three, three, it's a low high string. It's a launcher, right? Screws him, then you can do whatever combo, whatever how, whatever the hell the combo is. So if you get, if you're getting hit by this a lot, just, just duck. Recognize he does a lot of like spinning in this. So like once he starts spinning, you can very easily tell that, oh shit. I can punish it with my shitty ass. It doesn't matter. A lot, whatever, whatever while standing launcher your character has. Also, another uh, thing about this move is you can get hit by that low, and still duck and, and punish. Whatever your preferred punish is, it doesn't matter. Like 15, 16 frame, it doesn't. I can, I can back three that, and that's like a. Uh, 16, 17 frame. Like, yeah, I, I don't have to crouch. So this move is very, it has a lot of frames, recovery frames. Just get up and launch with whatever you want. Just punish Huarongs that do this move. I don't see a lot of Huarongs doing this move, but it is a gimmick. So that's just another one to keep out for. So on to our next moves, which uh, I, let me demonstrate here by just having a Stand. And then I think even guard all here work. Oh, nope, I have to have guard all on both. Okay. That's fair. So this is forward, 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 three. And this move is plus 14 to plus 17 on block. So that means that if Huarong hits this, two back four is 100% guaranteed. Because uh, I think because of how plus it leaves him afterwards. So you really have to recognize this. And uh, and the two back four, it wall splats against uh, a wall. So Huarongs would love to do this against uh, if they're, if, if your back is against the wall. So just be on the lookout for this move. So a way to really avoid this move, which is really straightforward, is to duck the second hit of this is a high. So here, let me just show you. Let me record. Right. Again, this is coming out of right foot forward. Oops, I started ducking a little too early. I can block the first and still duck the second. 
and I'll be fine. Yeah, so a lot of players don't really know that. That you can... Uh, uh, what is it? They think, oh, I'm blocking, I should be okay, right? That's one of the things about, that's like another gimmick that Farang players like to use. Is they like to use this move quite a bit. I Even I use it. Like, I try to catch people off guard with it, but like, if you recognize that this is coming, like, he jumps up in the air when he does it, right? So, just block the first hit, and then duck the second, and then do whatever launcher you have. See, I just I just did a fucking back three, and it's a punish. It has a lot of recovery frames, but the first is a hit is a mid. So like if you get hit by that, you're gonna get hit by the eye. But you're not gonna get hit with a two back four or the wall splat or anything. So just be careful. But yeah, again, this is out of right. This is out of. Excuse me. This is out of right foot forward. So. Horang has a lot of dangerous options out of right foot forward. It's a lot more, it's a lot, it's a much better stance to use than left foot forward. And more Horangs will try, you know, they'll try to be in right foot forward. So keep an eye out, keep where his legs are, right? Like if you see Horangs, like they're not gonna, they're not gonna be fucking Korean Horangs and try to like, you know, like add movement or where they do or, or how they go from one stance to another, right? They're not gonna go fluid. They're gonna go like this and then bloop. And then like come up with a backlash or like come out with a fucking I don't know come back three three or come up with a thing. It it really doesn't matter. And hey, Destrega, how you doing, man? No worries, man. So I guess uh yeah, it's it's a lot about recognizing what strings Farang has, right? And um, another tip. Or right foot forward is um, there's a move that's called uh, that does I think a, that does quite a bit of damage. It's called skyrocket. It's a lot harder to hit on uh, left foot forward than it is on right foot forward. Like it's a lot more lenient. So if you see Huarangs in right foot forward, just know that this is an option. And they can get some. Uh, let's see if I can do max damage right now. Oops. Fucking. I literally. There it is. 80 damage. That's ridiculous. So this is also mid launcher. I think if I, if I remember correctly, this is minus 10 on block, but it has a bit of pushback. So it's a little bit difficult to actually uh, punish, but again, on right foot forward, much more powerful stance. You got backlash, you got a lot easier skyrocket, and you got like a lot of, a lot of solid options. Now for left flamingo stance, here's the next stance that I'm going to be going over. Um, it's not as it's not really that strong, but here are the moves that can I guess uh, trip you up, right? So this is forward 4-3. Four, this extension, if um, this extension, if you're not guarding, right, this can knock down on hit, right? So if you recognize that Farang is doing this, it's about plus four to plus seven on block. Oh no, sorry, this is plus three to plus five on block. So uh, recognize that this is coming out four four three like that. And duck and launch the second hit. So if I can just repeat that action here and just show you. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm wondering if I can do a back three here. I don't think so. But yeah, whatever while standing launcher you have, you can use a pretty slow while standing launcher here and then be perfectly okay with it. Yeah. Whatever. So that's a, that's kind of a cheese string. Some Horongs like to catch you out with, with that, right? To see if you're paying attention, to see if you really know the matchup. If you don't know, uh, then 
like it'll just keep doing this on you, right? It's a knockdown. It keeps you. It leaves you on the floor, and it's 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 not bad, but decent players are gonna duck and launch you every single time you try to do this move. Uh, okay, next move that can mess you up. If you're in flamingo stance, it's down four. So this is one of the very few sweeps that Huarong actually has. Huarong doesn't really have, um, sorry, Huarong doesn't really have any dangerous blows, right? So unless you rec you're recognizing the strings that I'm telling you, you, there's no really reason to be ducking against Huarong, right? Because what does he have? He has fucking this move, this low. He has that low, which is pretty good. I don't know that low, that low. It's 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 dumb. But like this is one of the few sweeps that Horan has that can uh, lead to like a. Uh, give me a sec here. They can lead to a s small um. Yeah, like very small damage combo. And even sometimes like. I missed that up, but yeah, uh, this is minus 17 on block, and it's slow as fuck. It's also a, uh, it's also, it's also a high sweep, high, uh, high crush. So I guess Horangs might use it when they want to crush you, but yeah, like you can see him like twisting around. So if I'm recording this, um, the other Horang doing this move. Right? I can just... Whatever while standing launcher I have. Right? Um, obviously, other characters are going to have much better while standing launchers. Huarong has no while standing launchers. Except for, I guess, pseudos of back 3-3. Three, three. How do I deal with back 1 plus 4 spammer? What's back one plus four? Are you talking about Leo? Or down back three plus four? Uh, this is a, I mean, that's an unblockable. I guess just, uh, si I'm pretty sure you can just sidestep that move. Let me see here. Okay. Figure this out. Yeah, just sidestep that move. Whatever you want. You're trolling me? Typical. Alright. Where was I? Oh yeah, the sweep. Duck. Punish. Very easy. Very, very fucking slow. But he has that option out of Flamingo. Okay, uh, next move. This is my personal pet peeve when players don't um they don't punish this move shit okay but i guess it's because they don't know right fucking i'm so bad on give me one sec here there you go so this is an armor move easily enough but this is also minus 12. punish it every so, the deal with armor moves and Huarang is our Huarang only has one plus armor move, and that's Backlash, and you guys all know that, right? Any other, um, you'll see later on, any other armor move that Huarang does, it's punishable to at least minus, tw to at minus 10 to around minus 12. So if you're a Mishima player, you're knocking me down every single time, or I hope you knock me down every single time. This is, this option is to mainly catch out people that like the dick jab and it's to catch out people that are like you know um doing a move but a lot of the times this gets blocked and it doesn't get punched so anytime you see a horong player using this armor move just punish it uh what other move do I, can i warn you about uh yes this move so this move seems innocent enough. I'm in left flamingo stance one, right? That's a jab. It's plus seven on hit. And it's plus five on block. So if you hit this, if Huarang hits this move on uh, 
on you, do not press anything afterwards. Because then what you can do is uh, if you're pressing afterwards, you can do uh, forward one plus two. And because it's plus seven, like this is going to come out faster than almost any, like anything that you can come out, right? That you're going to say. So, and then he gets a full combo off that. Oh, the fuck? Why didn't that complete? Let's see here. Yeah, 72 damage. Just off that. So, if if Warang hits this jab, don't don't press. It's pretty much, it's the equivalent, I'm pretty sure, of Dragonov's while running uh, 2. If this hits. So, do not press at all after that. So that's pretty much the couple of things that you want to be on the lookout for for left flamingo stands. You got forward four three, right? You got down four, you got back three, and then you got that. That everything else is like is okay, I guess. Nothing, nothing too like gimmicky or uh, out of the ordinary. So the next one we'll talk about is uh, right flamingo stance. So it's the one where Rufarang has his right leg up in the air. So if uh, the first move, I guess we can say is just this one. This is plus nine on hit. If you're getting hit by this, don't press anything afterwards. Again, I hit this, I can do that. Yeah, he has another health sweep. We're getting to it. It's in this stance. So if you're getting hit by this, don't don't press anything. Plus nine, you're gonna get counter hit, and then you're gonna get 72 damage, like I said before. Uh, Horang has another flamingo jab after uh, out of right flamingo. That's two. Same exact properties of left flamingo stance. Uh, it's plus nine on hit or plus seven on hit. So it's just super. It's deceptively good, is what I mean to say. And thanks for stopping by, Dust Striker. I really appreciate it, dude. Uh, okay, what else do we want to know about? Oh, yeah, he also has a very similar move, like one of the moves that we talked about in Left Flamingo Stance, which is forward 3-4. Again, you can block it, that's around, uh, it's it leaves him plus, so I guess like he still has pressure afterwards, but you just, you just want to, what is it? You want to recognize the string, and you want to duck and you want to launch. <clears throat> exact same. I can show you again on how that would work. So bad. We got this. We got that. 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 Right. Same exact properties. Punish. Exactly. You can even get hit and still punish it. Whatever wall standing launcher that you have. Mr. Ajishi, I'm just going over everything. Give me one second. I'll play with you just in a bit. Okay. Uh, so he also has the same exact health sweep that I was talking about in left Loingo stance. If you remember, it was, it was this one down four, but he can pull it out of that one as well. Same exact concept. Your minus 17, duck and launch, right? And it's the exact same property. Yeah. It's so fucking slow. Just recognize that it's coming, duck it, punish it. You'll be good. So Huarong's actual health sweep, like Mishima level fast, I guess you could say, comes from this right flamingo stance. And that is this one. So I'm sure... A lot of players have gotten hit by this move right here, right? Um, it only comes out of one stand. It only comes out of this. Right Flamingo stand. It doesn't come out of anything else. And if you block this this first part, that first sweep, let me just show you how much it, uh, the person crumbles, all right? See here. So, Huarong is minus 31. 
you can literally get up and do anything you want. Like, anything. I wonder if I can, like, do a skyrocket. If I'm good enough. Oops. Alright, whatever. Minus 31 is what I'm trying to say. I can do my seven, like 18, 19 frame fucking launcher. I don't even have to do a wild standing punish. You can do whatever the hell you want. Very, very punishable. So, yeah. Things to keep in mind. Comes out in red flamingo stance only. And minus 31. However, if he whiffs the first hit, right? If Borang whips the first and you get hit by the second, that's minus 14. So, so uh, use whatever 14 frame punisher you have. Right, that's Huarang's 14 frame punisher. It is uh, up forward 3 plus 4. But yeah, that's basically it for that move. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Okay, this is the homing armored move that Huarang has in right Flamingo stance. Back four. Uh, same exact thing as the back three armor homing move. Huarang's use this to really catch up, to catch like side steps, but green Huarang's or like bad Huarang's are gonna use this. And just out of fucking nowhere, they're just gonna use this. So block it and then punish it. That just, it's minus 12, whatever. 12 frame punisher that you have um just throw it out okay that's basically all the strings that Huarang has that are gimmicky or the moves that he has that can gimmick you here are the uh here's another thing that uh now i'm gonna talk about throws and for throws Huarang has uh like the normal one plus three one yeah one plus three two plus four very easy to break he has three command grabs, right? And there's one that's very fast in Flamingo. And that comes out in left Flamingo stance. So anytime Huarang is in left Flamingo stance, he can press forward uh, uh, two plus three and get this uh, break or get this grab. The break for this grab is uh, two or sorry, one plus two. So if if Huarang is ever attacking like this and you see him go for a throw, it's always one plus two. Regardless. There's no he doesn't have another mix up from it. There's only one flamingo grab that he has. Alright, let's go here and then Alright. That should work. I have you see how much time I have here to break that grab? It's a lot more than you might think. But like obviously I can like recognize right away that he's in Flamingo and I have to press 1 plus 2. But if I don't, I can still be like, oh shit, I got grabbed. I need to press 1 plus 2 because that's the only option he has. Um, another grab that Huarang has is a uh, quarter circle back 2, right? If I can do it, I'm not really... Oh sorry, quarter circle back 3, my mistake. And this is a two break. It says 45 damage. He can do this out of, like, I guess his his normal um, left foot forward stance. He can't do this. Oh, he can't do it. Yeah, so he can do it out of right foot forward as well. But yeah, um, this is another one of his command grabs. You can see players do this one. Right. And just to confirm that it's a two break. Oh, it's not a two break. Is it a one break? Yeah, it's a one break. Yeah, so... That's another command grab that Huarong has. And the last one that... Uh, sorry, there's another one. Um, I didn't recognize this one, but apparently this is... Uh, he has this. It's called. It's down back one plus three, and this is also a one plus two break. 
So I guess just be on the lookout for that. Right? You can see he reaches both his hands out. It's a 1 plus 2 break. Pretty, uh, pretty standard. Let's record it. And then I can do it. Oops. Okay. Play it. I haven't seen Huarong's really use this move. Oops. Yeah, I haven't seen Huarong's really use this move. Or this, uh, stance. So, I have no idea if they even know about it. Or if they just don't do it. Like, very rarely do I see this, right? So, it's good to know, but not really, like, vital to countering green Huarongs or other Huarong players. Uh, the last command grab that he has is uh, uh, 2 plus 4, and got to, like, kind of roll back with it. So he rolled back, like that. And uh, Huarongs might do this to realign themselves. See how the, you switch position, right? Same same reason why you'd ever want to do a 2 plus 4 grab is to get the uh, enemy character against the wall whatever you want, right? And the break for this should still be two. Give me one second here. All right, let's finish this up. Yep, two breaks. Yep, two breaks. Oops, is he doing the right crap? Yeah, he is, yep. So another tip that uh, Quan had, and if you don't know Quan, be sure to I'll leave I'll leave like a contributors list, and um, you can go check him out. Quan said that against Warang, you want to sidestep to where his stomach is, right? So right now, if uh, I'm in left foot forward, you want to be sidestepping to the right. Uh, you want to be sidestepping to the right. If I am uh, right foot forward. I want to be sidestepping towards the left. And the same thing works in Flamingo, I'm, I'm assuming. Uh, sidestepping to the right here. And then uh, if I'm in right right uh, Flamingo stance, you want to be sidestepping to the left. Uh, and another, another uh, um, tip that Ardo gave to me, again, I'll leave the link to everyone in the uh, Google document, is that if Huarang is in Flamingo stance, a lot of his options are beaten by a uh, simple dick jab. Let's see exactly what um, Mr. Ardo said so that I'm not misrepresenting. Not misrepresenting anything here. Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, Dick Jab uh, beats all Flamingo options other than uh, up forward plus three, uh, four, and then sidestep. So if you see Huarang in Flamingo, Dick Jab. And it's plus eight on hit. And if your opponent presses after that, they pretty much deserve to get launched, right? So that's just, yeah, just keep that in mind with a lot of uh, like uh, a lot of uh, moves against Huarang. But I mean, Huarang does technically have uh, like the homing moves I told you about to uh, counter, quote unquote counter the dick jabs, but it's green Huarangs, I don't know. I don't know how green or blue or where, wherever you're trying to see about Huarang, if they're going to be uh, able to recognize that but uh, and if they are then they're going to be going for other safer options and then you just should just stop dick ja uh, dick jabbing um i guess another move that i forgot to talk about is uh oops up forward three four so with this move this is called hunting hawk by the way um if you don't block uh the second hit Huarang can get a complete launch. And what I mean by that is you don't want to be neutral blocking against Huarang when um, he's doing this move. So if I record my opponent here, right? Okay, let's play it. So I'm holding back right now, so I'm properly guarding. Did he, did it not, they're not 
Do it. Hit. Okay. That should work now. Right? So that's fine, whatever. I, this doesn't leave him plus afterwards, or if it does, it's by a little bit. But uh, if I'm not neutral blocking, sorry, if I am neutral blocking, like if I'm not holding back, the second hit's gonna launch me. And uh, let's see if I can do this here. Oop. Let's see if I can record. Does that work? Yeah, but point in case is second. If the, if you get hit with a second hit of that, you're going to get uh, you're going to get what's it called? You're going to get launched. Um, Harang has two sidestep moves that he can mess you uh, that he can use. One is sidestep four that leaves him plus on hit, and if you can duck and punish this as well, but it's got really crappy range. Like, if I'm here, it's not going to hit. And sometimes, like, if I if I feel like it's going to hit, it's not going to hit. So, if you see what I'm going to sidestep, I guess, just to recognize that he has a low that you can uh, punish. I didn't, uh, let's see. I'm going to tell you how many frames this is. I didn't research this one specifically. We'll just find out real quick. Where's the frame data? Hold on. Side step plus four. Yeah, that is minus 13 to minus 12 on head. So um pretty sure Josie can launch that if he's really, really fast. But if not, just punish it with a wall standing four. And then you should be good to go. Uh, the other option he has is the 3-3. Three, three. Side step three, three three, which leaves him in flamingo stance, left foot, uh, left flamingo stance. So he can uh, mess you up there. So I guess just also keep an eye out for that, right? All right, let's see if I missed anything. Right flamingo stance one two four three four. Oh, I missed a move in right flamingo stance. Right, this move. Okay. This is forward 4-4, four, four, and this is 8 frames. I can technically keep doing this over and over and over and over again. Right? What you want to do? Duck and launch. If you see Huarongs do this more than, like, in succession, just duck and launch it. However, do be careful because Huarong does have a mid launcher that's down forward 4. That he can get a full combo off of. Right, and then he can just go on to like uh, flamingo pressure. But whatever happens here, just know that do not you can't press here because then Huarang can then do this. Right, um, that is a uh, guaranteed on counter hit as well. So let's have him stand and guard all. I am fairly certain. Yep. 100% guaranteed on counter hit. So, if you do go and press and Huarong is doing the extension where he does that leg, you're gonna get launched for that. So just be careful against this one. Duck and launch. That's all I have to say about that one. I can show him doing it. Go here. Oops. Start recording. Left Flamingo. I can't do this move right now, apparently. <laughs> right. Play it here. Duck and punish. Do it again. I got that punish symbol. God bless. 
Another gimmick? Uh, I guess you, it's uh, Huarong has like a feint. So if you remember the down three I was talking about, down forward three four, I was talking about earlier in the stream. Huarong can fake it to go into Flamingo by holding forward after the down forward three. So he can fake you out and just, I guess, keep doing that over and over and then do whatever option. So like that, right? Forward plus three, which is uh, really, I guess it's an okay move um, because this move is about, uh, let's see here. This move is plus three to plus four on block. So like, I guess to save it, the safest option after that would be a one, but uh, yeah, he can, he can do this basically. That's, the, but I don't know how many green horns do that. So, and I don't know what kind of cheese can come from that. I guess just that or like a back three, like you're holding on, you're, you're like, oh shit, what's going on? And then, and then Huarong hits you with a, oops, get fucked. You want to be careful not to press there for this as well. Um, now that I just remembered, because forward three on counter hit leads to a full combo. Whatever that combo was. Anything else? This is all I had written down. Let me think if I can uh, think of anything else that would. Uh... Yeah, okay. Uh, I guess I I don't see any Huarongs do this, but that is a counter hit launcher, technically. So, I don't know. Uh, that really wasn't really too high on my list to show you guys because I don't know any really a lot of Warangs that do back four out of Flamingo stance. Yeah, I think that's about it. I think those are the really the biggest moves that cheese players against the Huarong matchup. Um, I guess also like, if you don't know about this, so one, two, forward, three, that's high, high, mid, but you can't really press in between. It comes out as, as a string. Like, if you try to press after the 1 2, um, I'm pretty sure it's gonna hit. That's another move Horong has. Not really a cheese move, though. Crow it's a. Uh, crouch dash 3. It's okay. Not too bad. But yeah, that was basically. Uh, that was basically the entire. Pretty much everything that can cheese that string. Like, I can't. Even after watching this, like, you're. I haven't gone over what are his different flamingo, like, options. I haven't gone over, okay, what can he. What's, what are, like, his keep out tools? I've just gone over specifically the strings that really mess a player up, right? And. Huarong is all about getting close and using different strings and diff using different options right over and over again and he's a complete rushdown character so some of my general tips for dealing with Huarong outside of knowing the cheese that I just told you guys is that Huarong's one of Huarong's biggest weaknesses is uh is distant I, like I told you before 444 is one of his approach tools while running 3 is another approach tool that he has but outside that, he has really nothing else. So for Huarong to come close to you, it's going to take a lot more on his part than it is on your part, right? If you're playing a character that like has range, like effect, like is, is more effective, like say Alisa or something at range, right? Or even Jack, Huarong is going to pretty much uh, is going to struggle against uh, against those. And even if not, right? Just backdash and use moves that are good in neutral. Right, I know Josie specifically has Crouch Dash 3, which has got a neutral. She has 4 4 4, which is really, which is a nice homing mid uh, move. She had 4 4 3 if the uh, if uh, the opponent isn't really sidestepping, if, 
if they catch that. But like Huarang really doesn't have much in neutral, right? Like he has that forward 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 tool, but like I told you, it's extremely side walkable and he has, I guess, backlash if you approach him. But Huarang doesn't want to be sitting at the back. He wants to be sitting. He wants to be close to you. He wants to be forcing these high, uh, high pressure mix up uh, scenarios so that you're constantly left guessing. Okay, is he going to do this? Is he going to like? Uh, is he going to keep doing this, or is what I'm going to keep? Is the mid launcher going to come out any day soon? He wants you to be flustered, right? So what you want to do is just back away, keep your distance. As maybe if like, it's a little bit tougher on a on a st on a staged wall, but like even on a on a wall stage, sorry, stage wall. What was what was I talking about? But even still, keeping your distance is mandatory with what and don't whiff. If you whiff. He has back three. If his spacing is good, obviously, right? Huarang's... If, if the Huarang's spacing is good, he can just catch you with a back three. But outside of what I just told you, he really doesn't have much. In terms of approach, anyways. Um, he's mostly like a rush down, aggressive character. So yeah, that's basically how you really get used to this Kicking piece of shit, if I'm to say, right? Um, obviously you should know that like the stomp, any stomp is not really plus plus on. Um, you can block and punish that. This is another move that I didn't really go over. Leaves the opponent very much in um, in minus, but again. If you get hit with this, and Huarang goes for another one, you can Rage Art in between. It, there's a lot of time. So yeah, that's basically that's basically it. Um, I hope this has helped you in your journey. I know this has been a little awkward because this is like the first time I'm doing something like this, but this is basically anti Huarang in a nutshell. And um, this is how you want to be dealing with them. So, uh, 